Nikon is set to revitalize its camera lineup with an update to the Nikon Z5, a full-frame mirrorless camera that first debuted in 2020. This refresh comes at a pivotal moment for the company, as Nikon has recently acknowledged its struggle to effectively cater to first-time buyers of high-quality cameras. The photography giant aims to address this issue head-on, with a particular focus on enhancing its entry-level full-frame offerings. Full-frame cameras, renowned for their superior image quality and exceptional performance across various lighting conditions, have traditionally been the purview of professional photographers. However, as technology advances and production costs decrease, these powerful imaging tools are becoming increasingly accessible to enthusiasts and serious beginners alike. In recent years, Nikon has introduced several high-end cameras, including the sophisticated Z63, Z8, and ZF models. While these cutting-edge devices showcase the pinnacle of Nikon's technological prowess, their steep price tags and complex feature sets can be daunting for novice users. Nikon's previous forays into the beginner market, such as the Z30 and the original Z5, didn't quite hit the mark with their intended audience. This challenge isn't unique to Nikon, the entire camera industry is grappling with the task of producing affordable, user-friendly cameras that can compete with the convenience and ever-improving quality of smartphone photography. The ubiquity of smartphone cameras has fundamentally reshaped the concept of a beginner camera. Modern consumers have grown accustomed to intuitive interfaces, seamless sharing capabilities, and computational photography features that automatically enhance images. This paradigm shift has compelled traditional camera manufacturers to reimagine their approach to entry-level models. Nikon's challenge lies in creating a camera that successfully bridges the gap between professional-grade equipment and user-friendly design, all while maintaining an attractive price point that won't scare off potential buyers. Although the official name hasn't been confirmed, industry insiders are referring to the upcoming model as the Nikon Z5 II. Based on current trends and Nikon's recent product strategies, we can make some educated guesses about what this new camera might offer. The Z5 II is likely to retain a full-frame sensor with a resolution of around 24 megapixels, striking a balance between image quality and manageable file sizes. An in-body image stabilization IBIS system is expected to be included, helping to reduce camera shake and produce sharper images in challenging lighting conditions. 4K video recording at 30 frames per second is almost certain to be a standard feature, meeting the needs of most consumer and enthusiast videographers. One intriguing aspect of the original Z5 was its dual SD card slots, an unusual feature for an entry-level camera. This design choice drew both praise and criticism, as it provided professional-level backup capabilities but also added complexity to the camera's operation. For the Z5 II, Nikon may opt to simplify the design by including only a single card slot, potentially reducing the camera's size, cost, and complexity. This decision could make the Z5 II more competitive with similar offerings from rivals like Sony and Canon, who have found success with streamlined designs in their entry-level full-frame models. A significant area of improvement expected in the Z5 II is its autofocus system. Modern cameras rely heavily on advanced autofocus capabilities for both still photography and video, particularly when tracking moving subjects. The Z5 II is likely to feature a more sophisticated AF system compared to its predecessor, possibly incorporating technology from Nikon's higher-end models. This enhancement would be particularly beneficial for capturing action shots and improving overall video performance, making the camera more versatile for a wide range of shooting scenarios. Unlike the original Z5, which used the cropped portion of the sensor for 4K video recording, the Z5 II is expected to utilize the full width of its sensor for video capture. This change would result in improved video quality and a wider field of view when shooting video, making the camera more appealing to content creators and vloggers who demand high-quality footage from their equipment. Additionally, enhanced Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for seamless image transfer and remote control via smartphones is likely to be included, catering to the needs of social media-savvy users who want to share their creations instantly. The timing of the Z5II's release has been a subject of speculation in the photography community. The original Nikon Z5 was announced in July 2020, and many industry observers anticipated its successor to arrive in late 2022 or 2023. However, as of mid-2024, the update has yet to materialize. This delay could be attributed to various factors, 
including global supply chain disruptions, strategic repositioning within Nikon's product lineup, or further refinement of the camera's features to ensure it meets the evolving needs of its target market. When the Z5 II does finally hit the market, it will enter a fiercely competitive landscape. Nikon faces the challenge of positioning this camera to differentiate it not only from increasingly capable smartphone cameras but also from higher-end mirrorless offerings within its own lineup and those of its competitors. The company must strike a delicate balance, offering enough advanced features to entice users away from their smartphones while keeping the price point and complexity in check to avoid cannibalizing sales of their more premium models. One of the most significant hurdles Nikon faces with the Z5 II is achieving the right equilibrium between advanced features and affordability. The camera needs to offer substantial advantages over smartphone photography to justify both its cost and the inconvenience of carrying a separate device. Simultaneously, it must be priced competitively to attract budget-conscious consumers and those new to dedicated camera systems. This balancing act extends to the camera's feature set as well. While advanced capabilities like high-speed continuous shooting, sophisticated autofocus systems, and high-resolution sensors are appealing, they can also drive up costs and complexity, potentially alienating the very beginners Nikon is trying to court. For the Z5 II to succeed where its predecessor fell short, Nikon needs to focus not just on raw specifications but on the overall user experience. This holistic approach should include an intuitive menu system that doesn't overwhelm newcomers, a responsive touchscreen interface that leverages users' familiarity with smartphone interactions, built-in tutorials, or guide modes to help users learn about photography techniques and camera features, customizable controls that allow the camera to grow with the user's skills, and seamless smartphone connectivity for easy image sharing and remote control. These user-centric features can help ease the transition for new users coming from smartphone photography and provide room for growth as they develop their skills and confidence. The success or failure of the Nikon Z5 II could have far-reaching implications not just for Nikon but for the broader camera industry. As smartphone cameras continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with computational photography and AI-enhanced imaging, traditional camera manufacturers are under increasing pressure to justify the existence of dedicated cameras, especially at the entry level. If Nikon can create a compelling entry-level full-frame camera that offers clear advantages over smartphones while remaining accessible to beginners, it could help reinvigorate interest in dedicated cameras among a new generation of photographers. This, in turn, could spark a renaissance in the consumer camera market, encouraging further innovation and competition. Ultimately, the Nikon Z5 II represents more than just an update to an existing camera model. It's a critical component of Nikon's strategy to remain relevant and competitive in a rapidly evolving photography landscape. By striving to create a camera that combines the image quality and versatility of a full-frame sensor with user-friendly features and a reasonable price point, Nikon is attempting to carve out a new niche in the market. The success of this camera could play a pivotal role in shaping the future of consumer photography and Nikon's position within the industry. As photography enthusiasts and industry observers eagerly await the official announcement and release of the Z5 II, there's a palpable sense of anticipation surrounding how Nikon will address the challenges of creating an entry-level full-frame camera for today's market. The potential of this camera to bridge the gap between smartphone photography and high-end digital cameras is significant. If successful, it could open up new creative possibilities for aspiring photographers, help secure Nikon's place in the evolving world of digital imaging, and perhaps even inspire a new generation of image makers to explore the depths of photography beyond what their smartphones can offer. In this way, the Nikon Z5 II isn't just a new camera, it's a statement about the future of photography itself.